morning again guys, this is Michelle Goddard from michellegoddard.com uh, It's a rainy day in Massachusetts, we've been waiting for rain for quite a few weeks now so this is, this is good, good for the flowers. So I just wanted to talk today about um, the third law of stratospheric success um, as described in the Go-Giver books which um, I've been talking about this week. If you've seen the other two videos, um, you've seen laws one and two and this is number three. Um, and this one is the law of influence. So the law of influence goes that uh, it is related to how abundantly you put other people's interests first. Um, not something that we haven't heard before. This is very commonly described um, by the law of attraction teachers and the success teachers. Jim Rohn talks about this. Sig Ziglar talks about this. Um, you know, there's loads of famous quotes out there about serving the masses and that's what all this go-giving really comes down to is um, reaching out to a lot of people giving them what they want and by doing that you are going to get what you want and the go-giver keeps emphasizing over and over again that you shouldn't have in the back of your mind oh I'm doing this because this is going to come back to me tenfold but you should have the faith that you know that that is true and that's just how the world works. The more you give, this goes for love and serving in all capacities. The more you give, the more you will get. And it, it, yeah, there's so many examples in the CD, in the books um, about this. Um, and I really do urge you to go ahead and read those. But he, he gives several examples in this chapter about giving to receive and just the fact that the example I, I thought of when I was listening to it earlier today was one that I think Joan, uh, Jim Rohn talked about that's another one I've been listening to recently and I think he was talking about the presidents he was talking about President Washington um, George Washington and how people might think that he got that position um, once he got that position he had all this influence and power but what Jim Rohn explains there is that he got that position because of the influence that he already had he already knew so many people and he was already affecting their lives and he was already serving the masses and that's how he ended up with that position and it's 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 backwards to think that people with power and influence um, Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm going to have to edit this now. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to do that. I, I'm not great at editing videos, but anyway. I, I sort of lost my train of thought, but you get the, the general gist of that. So I, I hope that you will definitely go ahead and, and read this chapter and put into action this law of influence. And basically, um, just think when you're doing your promotions for your business that the more people you can reach, the more you can serve the better you can serve them and the more you put their interests first the better it's going to be for you in your personal life and in your business it's just going to explode your business in a way that you haven't experienced if you haven't been using these kind of laws um, so anyway I hope that was useful a little bit blabbery in the middle there maybe I'll edit that out maybe not um, but anyway the, uh, the fourth law of success, uh, stratospheric success will be coming up later today or tomorrow. Um, go ahead, look through all of them on my blog, uh, michellegoddard.com. There's some articles about the go-giver on there too. And, uh, and shoot me a message, drop me a comment, email me, get on Facebook, get in touch. Let me know what you think about this uh, CD. If you've listened to it, then brilliant. If you've read the books, brilliant. Let me know what you think about it and what you think are the real takeaways from it. And I'll be really interested to see that and how you've been putting that into action in your business and what difference it's made to your results. So have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.